So I'll as Dr. Susserman winds up the clock, yes. past 30, back to 10. <laughs> back to 10. Because, you know. It's PhD uh, one. <laughs> wait, okay, I that's precise. I just wanted precise. to say uh, very quickly that we have made some, a lot of huge announcements on the PDC website this week. Huge. Huge. Tons of new keynote speakers. Mm -hmm. Announcements about some really cool things that we're giving away, like the hard drive and things that are going on that hard drive. That hard drive is hot. If you haven't yeah. watched the video with the hard drive in it, you should just because it's a hot looking drive. We've announced that we're giving out Windows 7 bits for the first time uh, ever. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got to go to the PDC to get them. Pre-beta. I guess pre -beta. I'm going. Yes, we have Symposia, which we'll talk about later, and just all sorts of new content. So you got to go up to the site, read it, and then just, just pull the trigger and register. Yep. What Seven, are you waiting 17 for? 17 new Windows 7 sessions went out this morning for a total of 21. Well, 22 if you count the Surface Windows 7 session sessions, that's yeah. also tagged. Uh, plus, plus the six symposium sessions. <laughs> plus six symposium <laughs> sessions. Well, we've leaving in already. Which I we're going to get to in a minute, but I first we have to hat do the hard hat. Yeah, we haven't mentioned two people. So hard hat challenge number six was solved by Roger Wilson Yay. from Sweden. Say hello to the Swansons for me. Uh, great job, Roger. And then uh, number five, the one prior to that, which was the audio file. Remember the seeds, the yeah. carrot seeds? Yeah. That, wondered about? that was a tricky one. Um, if I'm saying the name right, Fridjon, F-R-I-D-J-O-N from Iceland solved that one. Great job. Shirts are actually being shipped now, so... Uh, congratulations. Anyway, congratulations. Bring on the next one. We've got a new one, so let's get the hat on here. And I still have yet to put the straps in here. <coughs> so here, I will uh, allow our esteemed cameraman to zoom in on this particular uh, challenge, which I call In Machine Game. And you'll have to figure out what this means and post your answer in the forum. The first correct answer will get one of those limited edition internal only PDC 2008 Super special black, how many more words can I put in t-shirts? You They're can't hot. get them anywhere else. They're hot. They're hot. They're very hot. Thank you, Paris. So that's our, that's our challenge <laughs> for this week. So with that, with that, uh, Michael Summer, Susserman, yeah. who I, we call Misha, I, and his wife does. Yep. <laughs> um, so his heart really is with Mix09, but he's doing a few things on PDC this year. No, it's all about PDC. <laughs> yeah, I love it. What are you doing? Uh, I'm doing symposium. I'm running symposium, and as you uh, just mentioned, we announced the symposium today. Uh, what's, a sim what's a symposia? A symposium. Bad. Yeah. Uh, bad bad. <laughs> what is it? Uh, I thought you already knew. I have no idea. Oh, damn. Well, let me try to figure <laughs> out, fill you in. Help me out. Um, a symposia is uh, at the last day of PDC, we have three sessions in a row that are interrelated, group back to back, mm -hmm. where what we try to do is go into a lot more depth and detail for um, a particular t topic that we cover in PDC. Such as? Such as, we're actually doing two symposium this year, uh, um, one covering software plus services, of course, since we're uh, covering that everywhere else in PDC, so mm -hmm. we'll just add to it, um, and parallel computing, which also is, is prevalent in, uh, um, throughout PDC. Hot topic. And, and both of those were, they're picked for a particular reason, is, is if you look at what's happening in the um, uh, industry, we're going through some dramatic changes mm -hmm. now. Uh, we're going through dramatic changes with S plus S and with services. Um, there's a lot of emphasis now on, on cloud-based computing mm -hmm. um, and how you actually use that. And then in addition to that, the client itself is changing with multi-core and the proliferation of, of multiple core mm -hmm. and parallel processing. There's a, uh, increasingly more processing power on the computer. And what do you do with both of those? What do you do with this much more powerful computer that's sitting on your desktop and then with this much more powerful computing power that's available in the cloud and how do you bring all those together wow. and we'll try to do that um, with the two symposium. <laughs> so the way this works is that you go to a keynote and you get like a hundred level overview mm -hmm. and then throughout lots the week. Of, lots of slides with layer cake diagrams. Exactly and then throughout the week um, you'll go to individual sessions on certain um, features or technologies mm -hmm. yeah. and then on the last day you'll go to a symposia and for three sessions in a row you kind of get the context like as part of one big narrative. Yeah, But this down. is all new content in the symposia. Completely new um, and really try to extend what we covered throughout PDC. Uh, taking the Software Plus Services Symposium, um, you'll learn a lot uh, in the the, throughout PDC about the various different offerings we have, um, what you can do with those offerings. But when you sit down and build a piece of software, what do you actually do to incorporate these? What do you do with your um, local on-premise software? How much of that is used? How much do you rely on cloud-based? Um, how do you bring both those together? And what? how do you use the various slices of choices that you're going to hear all throughout PDC? So we're going to try to cover that in one symposium is when you're sitting down and trying to build, here's the various issues you're going to have to address and the um, uh, trade-offs you can make and how you kind of incorporate that whole spectrum from on-premise software um, to cloud-based uh, software. That's a lot of 
guidance and best practice kind of information? Uh, mm -hmm. A lot and a lot of detail, um, uh, a lot of depth, um, very uh, uh, architectural based, and um, uh, a lot more detail, exactly like you said. Uh, there's not a lot of detail that can be covered in keynotes. Um, there's more detail that can be covered in sessions, but really about specific topics. What right. we try to do with the three sessions that are related within the symposium is go into a lot of depth across that whole uh, um, capability. And thread it all together as one big and story. Thread it all together. The other thing that's unique about symposia is that this is where you'll hear from a few third parties mm -hmm. at PDC. You'll also hear from, uh, um, yes, we'll also have some third parties. Uh, for example, in the parallel computing uh, symposium, um, it really is, it's not just about the software, it's about how the software and the dev tools come together with the hardware capability. So you'll hear from Intel that is working on building out the hardware and some of their tools, how that works with us, how these strategies come together. Um, at one part, uh, for one of the sessions at, in the Parallel Computing Symposium, we're going to have basically a panel where we bring together a set of experts and, and have that discussion mm -hmm. from various different perspectives, from Microsoft perspective, from an Intel hardware perspective, uh, from more of a startup perspective, what is all this mean and what do you have to start addressing? And parallel development, you know, notoriously is just challenging to do. It's not something we do traditionally in the industry, but we're being forced to do it now. Mm -hmm. So right, it's a different way of thinking about the problems and splitting them up, splitting up the work, and then of course the tooling to actually build the stuff out and test it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of challenges there. But I know that the, the payoff, one that I know personally, is uh, Adobe Photoshop. I'm a big user of that because mm -hmm. I do digital photography or another product called DxO. And I've noticed on the, I got a new four-core Intel machine mm -hmm. and just the, how fast those filters run, um, taking advantage of the multi-cores is just amazing. So talk about leveraging the power of the client and the local resources. Yeah. Um, these are fantastic examples. Hmm. Yeah, and that's just with two or four or maybe eight core if you're buying expensive machines. Imagine going up to 16 or 32 or up to 128 cores. What do we do as developers with all that processing mm -hmm. power given that we're struggling now really to use the full power of the computer? And more so than that, how do you actually build software that will work? If you're breaking up all of your processing and running in all these parallel processes, how do you actually do that and, and, and keep this thing um, working in a synchronous fashion? Mm -hmm. uh, from a dev perspective, that's a nightmare. From a, from a PM perspective, that's very difficult to deploy. And that's really what the, uh, um, we're going to start covering in PDC sessions and the symposium, where uh, how you take all that and, and really start applying that in a practical fashion to the applications you're going to build. If you don't go to the PDC, where else would you get this content strung together like this? Uh, see, perfect argument for going to the P PDC. Um, it's it's actually it's it's really tough to get this kind of um, information other than uh, these conferences where we pull together experts, pull together this kind of content specifically to try to help you learn in a, a compressed um, fashion. Uh, to try to pull this elsewhere um, from isolated sources is uh, it's pr it's probably available, but much more challenging. And plus, it's all on the leading edge, right? We talk about mm -hmm. strategy and future at PDC, yeah. so a lot. I know of the symposium depends on some announcements we've made earlier in the mm -hmm. week related to tooling and where the industry is heading. Uh, so to be able to hear the new things and hear them all stitched together uh, yeah. is really super. And that's one of the reasons relevant. we actually have the symposium on the last day. All mm -hmm. the announcements at that point are made. Uh, we don't have to hold anything mm -hmm. back. We can tell you every about everything that was announced and released that um, you may not be able to hear about on the first day. We can actually cover all that and start talking about in detail and really what the practical aspects of it are. And and I think we just published info on these, right? Uh, we just, uh, today we published uh, um, the two symposium with uh, s uh, six sessions total for mm -hmm. those. Mm -hmm. um, those are available on the PDC website. The abstracts. And uh, abstracts, the details of the sessions, cool. and um, uh, it's a great, uh, another great reason to go to PDC. As a matter of fact, I'd like to, while we're talking about this, mention that if everybody can log in with their credentials on that agenda site and add their favorite sessions to the favorite sessions mm -hmm. list, including the new ones that are mm -hmm. out there for the symposia, uh, that would help us a lot as far as scheduling is concerned. So we put the right sessions in the right rooms. You know this challenge mm -hmm. for mix. Yep. Uh, so we can do capacity planning better, and we can make sure that you're able to actually attend everything you want to attend in person, well, and including the symposium. As the symposium person, I would extend that. I'd say just assume you're going to go to the symposium since you need that information. Go Excellent. ahead and click those buttons. Excellent. Um, if you haven't signed up for PDC yet or thinking of reasons, go ahead and look at the information mm -hmm. that we published today. We're, we're giving you hopefully more and more reasons to, to make that decision. There are some really amazing stuff we're going to be covering that most people still don't really know about. Mm -hmm. uh, so with all the teaser stuff we have there available that looks interesting, just imagine what we can tell you about that, uh, what you will hear about that we can't even talk about yet. There's some amazing stuff we're going to be covering and um, a, a good reason to